Hi guys, this is Dr. Frajana. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I love connecting with you guys. All right, so I'm going to share uh, some strategies that you can use when you can't get out of bed for work. When you can't get out of bed for work, right? It's extremely important to understand a good life and a bad life both take work. Getting up and working requires the same amount of discipline as moping around at home about your bad life, living in financial stress, hustling for the next income-making move, waiting on food stamp lines, sleeping on the train on cold nights, or staying in toxic dynamics, having uh, instability, working at a low-paying job with no way to climb the ladder, right? No climbing up the ladder moves, right? And focusing on failures, they all take work. It all takes work, right? However, good life requires work too. You're working and climbing the ladder. You have financial freedom if you budget and invest well. You can spend on loved ones and help the world on a grand level. You have opportunity to travel, own a home, own several homes, sense of security and stability, right? So instead of focusing on your failures, which takes, takes work, actively focus on successes. Conditions we want to achieve, right? (laughs) Rather than what we don't want to. This is life-changing, extremely important. We're so trained to focus on problems and not solutions. So do not focus on what you don't want. Know, know what they are, but don't stay there. Focus on the life that you do want, right? Picture it, imagine it, feel it like it's already happened, and, and it will start manifesting, Remember, your subconscious mind believes whatever you focus on. So choose what you consciously consciously choose what you want to focus on. At the end, hard work does pay off, right? It does pay off. So I'm going to share some strategies uh, on how you can incorporate more aliveness in your daily work week. So you don't feel like, oh, no, I don't want to get out of bed for work, right? What are some strategies you can use? One, Eat lunch at the park. Get weekly massages. I mean, it's not that expensive, guys. You, it sounds, you don't have to go to a five-star mas, mas, uh, a spa right? Uh, facility. You can go to like a nail salon and get a 20-minute massage weekly for $20 or whatever you know the price is. Feed your body healthy nutrients. Get fresh green juices weekly. Spend the extra on yourself. Stay away from toxic colleagues, no matter what. Do not work through your lunch. Scooter or rollerblade after work, whatever you like to do. It may be, it may be boxing, whatever you like to do. Do something that you like to, uh, active that you like to do after work. Go on a hike, even if it's a walk to, get, to a coffee shop. Work out, right, with fun songs. Meet up, meet with, meet up with a friend, right, weekly. Uh, I know the work week gets very, very, uh, it can get very draining. So you need to incorporate, right, aliveness in that work week, okay? And not just after work, but during the actual work time. All right, guys, hope this is helpful. You got this. You are amazing. Remember, a good life and a bad life both take work. So work for that good life, guys. It work. It pays off at the end. It really does. It really does. And sometimes you have to con- You have to sit there and remind yourself, like, okay, like make a hard work list, and write down like all the hard work you've done and what, what were the benefits, and that will help you too, also to motivate you. All right. Hope this is helpful. Take care of yourself.